When drones started parachuting blood to Rwanda hospitals, some doctors could hardly believe their eyes. And actually one doctor said, it's as though Jesus Christ himself is delivering blood from the sky. And then on day eight, it's totally boring. <laughs> and no one cares anymore. And it's like, of course we have drones that deliver blood exactly when we need it. How else would you solve that problem? Zipline drones have made more than 4,000 blood deliveries in Rwanda. More than a quarter were emergency deliveries. But the team wants to do more. In rural Yolo County in Northern California, Zipline has set up a distribution center with a mission. Build a drone system that can deliver blood products anywhere in Rwanda in a half hour or less. Every day here, engineers are conducting launch tests to improve efficiency, recovery, and maneuverability. After a pre-flight check and then a twist of a knob, we're set for takeoff. Press. Zipline executives say their new drone is 20 kilometers per hour faster than the previous one. The new model can hit a maximum speed of 128 kilometers per hour. The demand on vital medicine and blood in country, currently in Rwanda, is we've uh, we have decisions to make and we're in 15 minute windows to be able to save a life. And if we can increase the speed of our aircraft to make it do that, then we're going to. Speed is critical and so is accuracy. That's dead on, yeah. We try to hit within like a parking, meet, uh, parking space and a half. The company previously used an inflatable mat for landings, but it was costly and not that successful at preventing damage. The new method can best be described as a rod and reel snatching a flying fish out of the sky. When it comes to technology that has complicated regulatory frameworks and, and it's quite disruptive, it's actually more likely that that technology will start in countries that are fast moving, that can make quick decisions and actually make regulatory exceptions in order to get jobs and transformational change. And so that's what's happening in Rwanda. Zipline plans to roll out four distribution centers with the government of Tanzania by the end of the year. CEO Renato also hopes it won't be long before they'll gain approval to operate in the U.S. He says delivering pizzas or shoes faster can't compare to delivering blood when speed can be a matter of life or death. Mark New, CGTN, Yolo County, California.